Hello dear guests, welcome back to Eagle Army. We are here for day 253. We prepare for all needs about Ukraine-Russia war today. Let's listen together. Ukrainian troops shell Russian positions north of Kherson. A Ukrainian counteroffensive has left Russian forces fighting to hold their ground around the city of Kherson, where Russian installed authorities were urging residents to evacuate, the Ukrainian military said. However, Ukraine likely still faces a long battle ahead to retake the city, France 24's correspondent in Ukraine Gulliver Krag reports. Russian flag disappeared from the Oblast administration building in the occupied Kherson. Russians deporting people, stealing ambulances, medical equipment in occupied Kherson Oblast. Russian invasion forces are continuing to forcibly evacuate people in the occupied parts of Zaporizhia and Kherson Oblasts, the general staff said in its morning Facebook report for November 3rd. According to the Ukrainian Army Command, residents of settlements along the east bank of the Dnipro River from Velikas Namianka and Zaporizhia Oblast to Novokakovka and Kherson Oblast are subject to mandatory evacuation. Russian troops also continue to steal and take away ambulances and equipment from hospitals in Ola Pristan, a town on the left bank of the Dnipro, across from the city of Kherson, and taking them to Skotovsk to the southeast. The Ukrainian military's general staff reported on November 1 that the Russian authorities continued the forced displacement of civilians in the occupied territories in Kherson Oblast and were spreading rumors about the possible mining of the Kakovka hydroelectric power plant dam. The Russian occupation administration itself moved to Skotovsk, a town on the shores of the Black Sea in the south of Kherson Oblast. The occupation authorities in Kherson Oblast also closed the crossings across the Dnipro River on November 2. Vladimir Putin becomes victim of Russia's mood swing, faces dissent from media. Russian President Vladimir Putin is facing dissent from the country's media amid setbacks in the war with Ukraine. The Russian media has turned against its President Vladimir Putin as Ukrainian forces are making progress near the city of Kherson which was the first to fall to Moscow's troops in the invasion's early days, Express reported. Retaking Kherson would be a major prize for Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky and could also indicate who will ultimately win the war. According to the Express, Russian media outlets initially tried concealing frightening facts from its public but have now started showing their frustration. The lack of progress by the Russian troops in the war has made broadcasters and the print media. The BBC's Moscow correspondent highlighted the frustration in the Russian media in September by translating a few Russian newspaper articles that covered Ukraine's defense in Kharkiv where the Ukrainian forces were able to take back a large area of territory from the Russians. One of Russia's most well-known propagandists, Dmitry Kisilyov, said, on the front lines of the special operation, in Ukraine, this has been the toughest week so far. It was particularly tough along the Kharkiv front, where following an onslaught by enemy forces that outnumbered ours, Russian, troops were forced to leave towns they had previously liberated. Moskovsky Komsomolets, a Russian tabloid newspaper, quoted a military analyst as saying, it's already clear that we underestimated the enemy. Russian forces, took too long to react and the collapse came. As a result, we suffered a defeat and tried to minimize the loss by withdrawing our troops so they weren't surrounded. Some of the reports also highlighted how the Russian government is going extra mile to hide its losses in Ukraine. A report by CNN, last week, showed how Belarus is helping to treat and hide injured Russian soldiers. The report by CNN said that Belarus allowed Russian troops to use the country as an entry point into Ukraine and stage an attack on Kyiv in the early stages of the war. However, they later retreated after they failed to take the Ukrainian capital. 1342, March 11, 2022, ALP, Ukraine gives major Russian force choice to retreat or to die. A major Russian military force faces a crisis in southern Ukraine, according to Western officials who expect Ukrainian troops to liberate the crucial city of Kherson in the coming weeks. They are creating circumstances where Russians have two options, either to retreat or to die because they don't have additional equipment, a senior European official told the Washington Examiner. Ukrainian officials have worked to present Russia with that agonizing choice during a fall counteroffensive characterized by effective use of artillery and step-by-step -step offensives by small infantry units. Russian forces tasked with holding the Kherson region's namesake capital city must contend not only with a methodical opponent before them, whose efficacy has been described even by Russian military analysts, but also the logistical problems that arise from the mighty Dnieper River that bisects the Kherson region and divides them from their supplies further east. They will be evacuating pretty soon, another senior European official predicted. There is, an army, some 20,000 strong army on this right bank of the river, a Russian army with proven, elite troops, without proper supplies, if they let them be encircled by the Ukrainian army, they could lose their most valuable troops there. 
1342, March 11, 2022, Alp, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, for his part, doubts that Russian President Vladimir Putin will authorize such a withdrawal. They are not actually ready to leave the region yet, even if they risk being surrounded by our troops, he said, according to an unofficial translation of an interview with Italy's Corriere della Sera. Russians keep their best units in place. The Ukrainian assessment suggests that Kherson could be a crucible for Ukrainian forces as well as the Russians, even in the event of Ukrainian victory. The Russians know how to fight, Ukrainian Major Roman Kovalev, a Kherson-bound battalion commander, told NPR. They learn fast. They're not the same forces as they were in the spring. It is hard to fight them. An intense struggle would be consistent with the strategic significance of Kherson. The city is a key waypoint for Ukrainian officials hoping eventually to drive Russian troops out of the Crimean Peninsula, which Putin annexed in 2014. And Russian forces have treated it as a gateway to the rest of the Black Sea coastline, including major port cities that power the Ukrainian national economy. It will be a blow for their plans, a really serious blow, to take Odessa, the first senior European official said. Ukrainian and Western officials blunted that line of attack months ago, but the guy in Moscow has not given up the dream, the official added. Putin has given a ferocious, yet indirect, response to Ukraine's counteroffensive. Russian forces, aided by Iran, have conducted intense and sustained attacks on a nationwide array of Ukrainian energy infrastructure. Russian diplomats have reinforced that campaign with dirty bomb allegations perceived in Kyiv and western capitals as a thinly veiled threat to use nuclear weapons. Of course, the political will of Putin is to keep it as long as possible because that would be a huge blow to his image, the second senior European official said. So in this situation, the Russian command is in a desperate situation, between the political will of Putin to keep this territory and the military necessity to release it as soon as possible. In any case, Putin's tactics in recent weeks have not stymied the Ukrainian maneuvers in Kherson. The Ukrainians are picking up speed, are moving more quickly than they had been for the past month in Kherson Oblast, toward and surrounding Kherson City, former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Bill Taylor said. The city, of course, is on the right bank, is on the west bank of the river. Those bridges have been damaged by HIMARS, we know, for weeks now. Ukrainian forces have used a combination of U.S.-made multiple launch rocket systems, known as HIMARS, howitzers, and commercial unmanned aerial drones to target Russian heavy weaponry and storage sites. The targeted strikes have helped to offset the numerical advantage that Russian artillery forces were expected to enjoy. There is an idea the Russian army is infinite, but it is a myth, a Ukrainian artillery major in Kherson told the New York Times. The intensity of fire has fallen by three times. It's realistic to fight them. Russian forces reportedly are preparing for a potential retreat across the river. According to available information, the enemy is setting up defensive positions on the left bank of the Dnieper in the Kherson Oblast, Ukrainian military officials said in an operational update released last week. For example, in the area of the settlement of Hornostavka, engineering and sapper units of the Russian occupying forces mine the coastline, leaving small passages for a potential retreat of their troops from the right bank. Officials with Russia's occupation government have called for an evacuation of civilians from the area, though the operation is beset by allegations that Russian officials are forcing Ukrainian citizens to leave for Russia. As a feature, the evacuation of the civilian population from certain settlements of the left bank part of the Kherson Oblast was noted, the Ukrainian general staff added in another update. According to the available information, since October 31 of the current year, the removal of collaborators with their families, medical personnel and equipment from the Central District Hospital has started from the settlement of Hornostavka. The apparent details of the Russian preparations leave local Ukrainians apprehensive. It looks really odd on the ground, said Dr. Hannah Shellist, a Ukrainian foreign policy expert based in Odessa and in contact with Ukrainians in Kherson. They took all the weapons to the left bank and, then, turned them to the side of the city. So the locals have the feeling that Russians at least will try to do a second Mariupol, in terms of maximum damage to the city, in case they need to leave it. Zelensky has signaled that Ukrainian forces are determined to liberate Kherson, whether Russian troops withdraw or stay and fight.